play. There you go, guys. You can't make this shit up. Meridian Defense Apocalypse now. 5,000 rounds behind us. And what a journey, guys. Uh, and I'm kind of happy that it took a little bit longer than I thought it will. Uh, and that's because of the schedules and everything. But the reason why I'm so happy is because we could work with uh, this rifle through almost all the seasons. So we had something from the, you know, like a really warm fall and uh, then of course the, the winter too. So it went through the whole seasons and that's always, I like that kind of exposure to the rifle because it puts the different elements uh, and puts the different kind of stress on the material. And as you can see, the rifle is in a perfect condition. We do have, we pick up, uh, uh, you know, along that road, some rusty spots, uh, but that was predictable to happen, uh, especially from the pound. As you know, the pound is extremely aggressive on the metal. And now we got a little bit winter environment and things like this. Still, rifle functions perfectly fine. Uh, it looks still beautiful. It's a badass look. Uh, what the Meridian da does, uh, heads off, to their work. Uh, I think the fitment and the components inside, how they put everything together, and even that distress look, which is covered with the clear coat, the wood restoration, it's absolutely badass. I like that front end of the rifle as well. Uh, you, We know right now you got different muzzle brakes to choose from. If you wanna uh, put the suppressor, things like this, they offer all those options. Uh, and there's no complaints uh, about that. I would say that overall, from the fitment package, how how it looks, how it works, and how it performs, I would say it's a five stars, right? The top top rating uh, for what we have on the table. Also, as I said, for driving CQB, uh, Ninja Shed drills and things like this, this rifle is an absolutely blast to work. And what I like about this, they shorten the barrel, but you are not it's not over gas so they manage to fine-tune the gas system and and it's working great on the same token it's performing very well in the dirty environments and and uh, the conditions where maybe maybe the action is clogged up and things like this so it's a nice balance they did fantastic job uh, you hear me saying numerous times that this rifle shoots extremely flat and to drive it from target to target and to do the quick workouts it's extremely easy extremely fun and pleasure to shoot no questions uh, about that and we still have to perform the final no-go gauge test check and look inside the components but i just want to share with you those uh, observations one thing which you're always going to hear about that type of the rifles is of course the price the the you know like with meridian defense for this rifle it's not cheap that being said from what i'm seeing from posts and everything uh, on their social media they have no problem selling those uh, rifles uh, on the market do i agree with that kind of pricing uh, I, I there's it's not up to me to judge let's put it that way the market will decide you guys will decide with your wallets if they are up to something or not uh, i'm judging only the performance of the machine at this point and and on that front, uh, they're doing an uh, outstanding job. What I would do, if I can suggest something to Meridian Defense, I would ditch the Ultimac. Uh, in this case, this would, this would also help them save some money uh, on the cost. I would ditch that Ultimac because they do have a side rail. They do have a side rail and you can put any kind of optic on this rifle you want. So for me, that redundancy is unnecessary. Um, what they're going to do, it's up to them. Now, enough with the bullshit talk. Let me pull down uh, that Cyclops combo, remove the magazine. Uh, the junk dunk survived and is awesome. Addition to this rifle, right? I'm so happy that they're using those Romanian parts kits. And let me dive in inside the rifle for the last time. Let me start uh, for a change with the trigger. Uh, I did talk when we were uh, talking about the Palmetto State Armory, uh, AKE Enhanced Rifle, and uh, the, I said that it's kind of surprising that the 
uh, Palmetto State Armory is not re reprofiling those ALG triggers. Uh, these guys did, and uh, as I said on the, on the bolt carrier, there's not that much deformation. That AK uh, uh, ALG trigger is extremely good. That's true, but they treat those uh, trigger hammers really, really hard. And very often, from what I'm seeing, even from the surplus parts, those bolt carriers are getting beat up a little bit if you're not removing uh, that, that tip, you know, on the trigger hammer. Uh, but they did it. That's kind of nice touch. They smoothed that trigger out even more. Uh, so nice, nice job on the trigger. Now, let me switch to the bolt carrier because uh, I started talking about it. Across the 5,000 rounds, guys, there is a deformation on the bolt uh, carrier, a rear end slight one, and I don't think so. This at uh, this time, it's not progressing. This is how it's going to stay, and and that's nothing uh, after that rounds count. Everything here on the bolt carrier, other than this, looking good, and the piston head uh, survived as well. No damage or anything, no scrap marks. Everything here is looking good. Now. Let's check that bolt. Locking locks. Locking locks are looking good. That's how we want it. We want them flat. No chips, no marks of like steps or anything. This is a nice, smooth, uh, basically pol polished metal from a work uh, against the locking shoulders of the Trunion. Extractor claw is looking good as well. And the firing uh, pin, not deformed, still looking good too and the rear end of the bolt is looking cool as well nothing to uh, bitch about it here look into the trunion everything here is looking good covered with junk uh, I swipe from time to time so you guys could have a better pictures but uh, everything here is looking good um, some light rust maybe on the rear trunion or, or just mud, I'm not sure at this point even. Look into the chamber, everything here is looking good. Flip on the other side, and here everything is looking good. Rivets are still holding up beautifully. They are, they are really nicely formed, this is a good job. Everything here is looking uh, great. Now, we have rust on that uh, rear side leaf and that's from the that's from all the moisture exposure and things like this into the uh, pond and uh, the swamp and uh, things like this and uh, we are looking good up front all the pins are holding up wood is looking great we beat up the dunk a little bit i i i said that numerous times with the dunks there's no problem with changing magazines but you're going to beat them up a little bit you're always going to have some mark on the dunk other than this, everything is uh, looking uh, great. I have to tell you, it was a pleasure to shoot. Look at the balance of this rifle, right? Perfectly done. Uh, no, it's just a little bit frozen snow. That's why I was able to, to, to stack it inside. There's no magic here. <laughs> but I want to go back to one more time the performance of the rifle. Performance of the rifle was spot on. Pleasure to shoot. Uh, absolutely the quality of the job and the work done on it is uh, top notch. There's really nothing to complain uh, on that part. Uh, questions are, of course, about the pricing. We talk about it too. It is what it is. What we have on the table survived the 5,000 rounds without any hiccups and delivered. Uh, but you would expect that, of course, because of the price uh, sticker and things like this, right? Uh, and the 5,000 rounds, it is stress, but it's not that much stress. So uh, all these uh, surplus parts, because they're using a surplus parts, and uh, they still delivered. So I like the quality of the work, that goes without saying. I think the Meridian Defense did a very nice job. Uh, and I wish them good luck and hopefully we will work on some other projects and we'll have uh, some more uh, rifles from them. Uh, even it, maybe not for the 5Ks, but to showcase it and talk about it, it's always a nice conversation uh, piece. Thanks for watching guys, uh, stay tuned for the no-go no -go gauge test, we still have to run it. Let me just set up the rifle and as always please remember to hit that subscribe and notification uh, bell so you can have a connection with us and you will be notified by uh, YouTube about the new videos posted by your great AK Operators uh, Union. Okay, don't go anywhere.
Apocalypse Nogo Cage Express set up for the last time. For the last time, let's see what we got. Uh, guys from Meridian Defense are probably uh, eating um, or, or doing the nail biting, but let's see. And nothing. Look at that. <laughs> I can hear from California because they are in California. I can hear their uh, sight of relief. <laughs> One more time, just to make it more exciting. And uh, uh, I did it twice, so I have to do the third time. Nothing, nothing on that no go gauge. No change in the head spacing. Imagine that. 5,000 rounds uh, behind us. Congratulations to the Meridian Defense. A job well done.